Okay, today I want to talk to you about the second of the four strategic initiatives. And the second one being the supply chain management part of the business. Now, every business has a supply chain, whether it's for pencils and papers and products that you sell that's intangible, or whether you have tangible products that you actually bring into your warehouse and manufacture, you will have some type of a supply chain. And managing that supply chain, if you manufacture your products, becomes more and more critical as your business grows. So today we want to talk about supply chain management. And so as we talk about supply chain management, what it is, is the management of information flow between and among the activities in a supply chain. So that would mean your procurement people, the purchase order people, the people that actually pay the invoices after the product has come, and it includes all of your people that you deal with that, are, that come from your suppliers and bring that product into your business. So supply chain management is literally the management of relationships with your supply chain and all the people that implement it from beginning to end during the process of getting products, manufacturing it, and sending it out the door to your customers. So the better you can maximize your efforts in this area, the stronger your company will be. So what a supply chain has is three main components. First, it's materials flow from suppliers and their upstream suppliers. I work at Boeing and Boeing manages the supply chain, not just to from the initial supplier, but also their suppliers and their suppliers, sometimes as many as 10 suppliers deep to make sure that those suppliers are well taken care of in their business so that they can know of a potential critical shortage of parts long before it becomes a problem in the plane manufacturing factories. What this does then is it makes sure that everything becomes a cohesive whole rather than just a bunch of moving parts that nobody has control of. The supply chain then is the transformation of materials into semi-finished or finished products, whichever you do. Sometimes you do parts for another company. Sometimes you do the finalized product. Boeing actually builds the entire airplane and has a lot of suppliers that do semi-finished products such as wings or barrel sections or cockpit sections or uh, the gas fuel tanks or the, the, rear, uh, the rear tails or the stabilizer rings. They have a lot of different suppliers that produce various different parts and those would be considered semi-finished parts. So then the last component is the distribution of the products to your customers. So what you have literally is a womb to tomb look at all of your supply chain from the people who supply you parts to your manufacturing process down, down to the people that you sell your uh, products to. So here's a kind of a sample picture of what a supply chain might look like for a bicycle store. So here you have an aluminum manufacturer, a tire manufacturer, brakes, bike accessories, packaging, have all of these things coming together and they come to your factory. When they're in their fa your factory, you've got a warehouse that stores the raw materials. And then you've got your production floor that builds the bicycles. And then you've got your distribution channel that gets those bikes either out to other retailers or sells direct to the end users. And here it pictures the retailer with eventually uh, to the customer. Now, in, at Boeing, the, the supply chain is a lot more complex than this, but this is good enough to illustrate the point that you, you know where your products are coming from and you know where your products are going to. So an effective and efficient SCM system or supply chain management systems enables the company to decrease the power of its supply buyers. Okay, so your customers, it decreases their power because you've become more competitive. It increases your own supplier power. In other words, if you are a parts supplier to a, a larger manufacturer of the final piece, 
It increases your power because it puts you in a competitive, at a competitive edge. It increases the switching costs and reduces the threat of substitute products because if you're doing it the cheapest that, that it can be done, other people trying to enter the market and trying to incur that, that hurdle rate of getting into the business at first won't find it to be profitable. Therefore, they tend to stay away. So your threat of substitutes becomes a lot less as long as you're doing it lean and efficient. You create more entry barriers by doing that and you increase the efficiencies while you seek a competitive advantage by cost leadership. So those last three are really a lot about how you can reduce your costs and be able to keep the wolves away from the door, so to speak. So supply chain management here. So what, what I wanna illustrate here is supply chain management is all about knowing where your products are coming from, knowing where, how to manufacture the most, manufacture them in the most lean and efficient way possible and knowing your customers and the downstream systems that buy your products. So if you like what you saw here in the video, please hit that like button and uh, please subscribe so I can get you some better videos and stronger videos in the future. Thanks.